Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress WP list tutorial for beginners and this is part 3. In this video session guys, we will use and so data into our WP list table and also guys if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about part number 3. So basically guys in our previous video sessions we actually understood about the file hierarchy of WP list table and what are the different methods what are those methods that we have to use to display our data or we have discussed okay so just back to editor this is the plugin that we have developed so far okay this is called OWT list table in which we have simply made a menu page and this is we have used to link a file by the help of PHP buffer system okay and this is the file that we have linked okay so finally we have linked a file from WP include the class WP list table dot PHP okay so if you go to folder structure inside jQuery UI this is our folder structure of WordPress go to WP admin includes if we find called class WP list table this is the file that we have included okay why we have included because we are going to use some of the methods from that okay so first of all let's define a class let's say that class OWT table list okay this table actually extends or inherits some of the methods from called WP list table okay so just we have used that also let's define a function for that okay so function let's say that OWT so data list table okay so inside this function we are going to do some of the coding some of the coding by the help of this class okay and finally we have to call this function okay so let's say that function okay so inside this class guys we're going to define some of the methods actually those methods are inherited from this class okay so what are those methods first of all we have to define called public function prepare items inside this function guys we're going to define or bind our data in the second function guys we're going to define some another function called public function get columns okay this is the second function that actually we have override by, from this class okay so this is our second function next we have to define called public function and this is column default this is one of those methods okay so basically guys we have defined three methods inside OWT table list and these all class actually methods we have overridden from this WP list table okay so finally just copy this class that we have made go to your function let's make our instance so let's say OWT table so basically by the help of new keyword we can make a new instance okay so by the help of that we actually call two of the methods from this class okay so what are those methods so first OWT called prepare items so this is the method that we have defined within this class okay second function actually we have not defined inside this class but that function actually will you will find inside this WP list table okay so what are that function so basically OWT table this is called the display method this method actually basically used to show all the data that actually we are going to bind from this method okay so it will display all our result okay so just back over so now let's define some of the data inside this class okay so let's say that this is the behind scene that I have created some data to feed into our WP list table okay this is a data variable that we have defined inside this class okay and finally we have taken four arrays of data where we have columns like ID name and the email section okay so these are the data guys that we are going to show inside our WP list table okay so just go to prepare items method let's say that this items equal to let's say data Okay, so this is the variable guys actually we have not defined inside inside this class called OWT table list okay but this variable actually you will find inside this class file okay so basically we have initialized this variable by the help of these data next we have to go inside called get columns method okay so let's say that columns equal to this is an array okay here we are going to define some of the values and finally return columns okay so inside this array we are going to define our table columns okay so let's say that first column should be ID okay so this is ID next let's say name okay so this is name and finally we have defined the email section so let's say that email ok 
okay so basically inside this get columns method guys we have to define our all our columns names that we are going to specify to our WP list table okay so these are the columns okay so by the help of these columns actually we have made the data according that this is ID name and the email section so that's why we have taken three columns for our WP list table okay so finally we have to return that columns right here okay so just I'm to call this method inside this prepare items okay so let's see that columns equal to this arrow operator and now this is get columns okay so basically this function return these columns okay so now we have two variables first we have some data actually this data is defined here and second we have some columns actually by the help of these columns we bind with our, with our WP list table let's pass this values that columns inside a variable so let's say this dot column headers okay this is a variable you will find inside our WP list table okay this is the parent table where this variable actually defined okay so inside column headers we have to define these columns okay so let's say that inside array okay so inside that array we have to pass our columns so this is the column sections that we have defined right here okay so next we have to define the method called column default so basically guys inside this method we have to pass some of the data okay so first data should be item and the second data should be column name okay so basically this is the method actually used to iterate all the records over this array step by step okay so suppose if you want to print this data to our WP list table then this method actually should go from this column default okay so this is the column name column name basically refers this ID name and the email and item refers this array okay this is the item okay and these are the columns okay here we have columns like ID name and the email okay so just go to column default method and now inside this method just we have to use called switch case okay inside this switch case let's pass column name okay so basically inside this column name let's check that case if it is ID okay next let's check about call email okay so name okay next we have to check about case something called email okay so basically by finding these data means the column name should be ID email and the name if we find these data that we have to return the value of item return item basically this is an array this is a individual array defining data variable okay so when we get any of these data means ID name email the correspondingly we have to return that value okay so basically this is array and we have to retrieve the value according to this column name okay so just pass inside that else in case of default value let's say default let's say that echo or let's say return no value okay so basically guys column default is used to iterate all over all arrays that we have defined in our data variable and this is the column name right here okay so just go up so now guys we have prepared each methods individually well prepared okay so if we save that go to our browser reload this page so this is the blue list table that we have made okay so no data actually appearing so let me check that actually I think that we did a mistake right here so this is our data variable and now this data variable is not calling in our WP list table okay so basically this data variable we have passed inside this item section okay so this is not a simple this is by the instance called this dot data okay so if we save that refresh this page so these are the data guys that we have successfully bind with our WP list table okay so also we can specify some of the labels some of the heating sections for this table so let's say that echo within h3 tag let's say that this is list okay so if we save that refresh this page so this is list within h3 tag okay and now this is our WP list table where we have defined three columns called ID name and the email section okay so successfully guys we have seen about the data listing in our WP list table okay so once more let's summarize all over all the methods that we have defined first by extending this class we have to prepare some of the methods called prepare items basically this method is too much important to make WP listable why because inside this method actually we can prepare our data okay inside items variable actually this items variable defined inside this WP listable class 
okay so inside this variable we have to slice our data okay and this is the columns variable we have defined this column variables actually contain all of the columns of WP list table okay and finally we have to slice the columns headers variable by these columns okay and this is also a variable defined inside this WP list table class okay so just scroll down this is column default basically this method is used to iterate all over the rows that we have taken inside our data variable by getting this ID name and the email correspondingly it will pick all those values from our data variable step by step okay and finally by making this class called OWT table list finally we have to call this class inside this function okay so here we have made an instance by the help of this instance we have made or prepare items means successfully we have prepared our items okay so now next we have to show all the data okay so basically we have to use called the display method this display method is defined inside WP list table class okay so by the help of this video session guys we actually understood about that how can we list our data inside our WP list table okay so if you have any query in this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day